What's up guys, it's me Pedro back at it again. In today's video, I'm gonna tell you what's been happening. So in this last couple, in this last week, we had a big incident involving um, a recycling bin truck and it actually affected me a little bit because ended up burning up a little bit of my spot where I work at, not work at, but where I, where I have my tools and everything at. Um, and all that kind of stuff, it sort of melted from the heat a little bit. So I was trying to fix it, but they called me not to move anything because uh, uh, I guess the people that come and do all the investigation and all that kind of stuff to see what kind of damage we have is right, coming over. As you can see, look, let me show you in the back of me right here, all this, that's where the truck was at. So it was really, really bad. I mean, just, uh, it was around noon. We heard a big explosion. I was in my room. I was about to start working on Miss Betty's uh, uh, smart car. And next thing you know, I stood inside three minutes later. We just heard an explosion so loud that it actually shook the whole house. I thought we were getting bombed. <laughs> so I reacted, got up. So my girl told me that the trash was on fire. So I tried to go get my fire extinguisher. But by the time I went to go get it to see how big it was, I saw that it was a truck on fire not a, not a bin it was a truck so my little fire extinguisher ain't gonna stop that so i didn't want to get close because there were a couple of explosions as you're gonna see in the video that i have it's only a three minute video so guys um besides the street we also had damage to my tent right here oop sorry about that as you can see it almost caught on fire if it wasn't for my father-in-law at reacting quick, spraying it down with the hose. I went to the other side, started spraying down the roof. Hopefully it landed some over here too. But yeah, all this basically got all, you hear it? As you can see, it's all crossed, almost up to like right here. You can find me. You can still feel it being all hard and stuff. Basically it, it, it got toasted. And the other little problem that I sustained, besides all this right here, and you can see a little bit of the smoke up there, you know what I mean? It's a little bit dark in there, but you can still see a little bit of the, from the smoke going in there and all that kind of stuff. Um, we got a little bit of damage here. And the thing about this, that I had a video that I wanted to post up about me putting them on. I didn't last a week with them. I was gonna edit the video. I was trying to, I'm trying to make a couple of videos back to back to back. So I'm already editing like three other videos that I have for y'all. And they should be showing up pretty soon. But yeah, as you can see from this one to this one, there's no waves on it. And on this one right here, you can see the wave. You can see how it melted. I'm telling you guys, I was supposed to be right there working on the car, just changing the the temperature sensor on the on the on the smart car. I could have had it on jacks. Lucky I didn't have to go under the car or anything. The motor's right behind it, so make sure you check out that video soon. Um, it could have gone differently, or I could have been under this one, fix, finishing and fixing my exhaust system or whatever. Uh, I'm just thankful that we're all okay and nothing really happened. Um, lucky I was lazy enough to stay inside the house for an extra 15 minutes. But yeah, guys, this is this is what's going on, and that's why I haven't been. I have to wait for the people to come and check it out one more time before I can start cleaning up. I'm gonna do a I'm gonna do a whole new retarp. I'm gonna actually extend. My, my my tarp from right here as you can see I'm gonna extend it from right there all the way to right there and then we're gonna move it all the way back here and the Mustang that we have in be behind this wall right here is gonna go looking that way so I could put everything over here and I can have plenty of more space to work that's one of the problems that I had that I didn't really have a space, so I get sort of frustrated and I can't work in there. So I get when you don't have a a good work environment, you just you don't you don't have that feeling to 
to finish, but I want to finish Mr. Sherman's car, but this is delaying me now because I talked to him the other day and I promised him I was trying to get it done by this week and I and I ended up, you know, dropping the ball on that. So, uh, but besides that, guys, here goes the video. Hopefully you enjoy. Make sure you like, subscribe, share, you know, so make sure you share the WTF mechanic, you know, and um, make sure you put the hashtag... OBD2. Actually, you know what? Let's go get that. Let's talk about it before I do anything else and put the videos on. Bam! The giveaway. It's an OBD2 breeder. Onboard diagnostic. Alright, guys? Two. That means that anything from 96 and up, you'll be able to read your codes. Uh, this one also reads emissions, uh, it does check engine lights, uh, does battery check, and does live data. You usually go to AutoZone, you know, they do it for free, but you have the little, little one that can check the code. This one, you can do the live data. You can see if you're going to, especially if you're, in, if you're in California, it shows you your emissions, if you're going to pass or not. So like that, you don't waste your time. Um... So it also does battery and alternator check and all that kind of stuff. So only thing you have to do, make sure you like, leave a comment, put hashtag toolbox. Ah, I'm going back old school. I, I can remember. Sorry about that, guys. It's hashtag OBD2. OBD2. Just put OBD2, hashtag OBD2 to enter and help me hit those dice, do, uh, dozen subscribers. I wish thousand subscribers, guys. I want to hit that that big T for me right now. That's my next, you know, accomplishment for me right now on WTF. Like I said, I'm working on three videos, so that should be helping me push out more content. The more content I have, the more content that people be able to see, the more content I'll be able to get rated by uh, YouTube, and then let's see where we go from there. All right, guys. Uh, so OBD2 hashtag OBD2 and good luck.
So guys, this is gonna be something new on my YouTube. Can't believe this happened. My neighbor's trash can, recycle, burnt, burnt. They're putting in tires so they can roll it out. Look at this shit, bro. Gustan más aguas o algo? Okay, pues. Picking this thing up. Doing a hell of a job, guys. Oh, look at this shit. Changing out the tire. Changing the tire on it. Thank you for the firefighter, the Los Angeles Fire Department, for coming out on time. You know, thanks to our creator and that the people that were inside the truck were able to get out on time. This is one of the recycling bins. Honestly, guys, I wish I would have caught the explosion. That thing was so loud and so hot that it melted the front of my um, tarp right here. Nothing happened to my pilot. Guys, this is where I usually work on my cars. Let me show you. This is where I usually work on my cars, right here in front of my garage, right? And this is where the explosion happened. We're talking about maybe 20 feet from me. I was about to start working on the smart car and start recording. Back, if I would have been here, I think it would have been a worse thing because that explosion could have hit me pretty hard. One of the tires could have hit me. Some kind of metal or something could have popped out, killed me. I want to say thank you to my homeboy Stefan for always taking care of me. I know you're looking over me and I'm up, up, up in there, man. Dude, today was going to be my first time coming back on YouTube and this was what happens. It's crazy.